The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 is the expected sequel to the current best foldable phone you can buy. But if Samsung wants to keep that title, it needs to put more work in. When we tested and reviewed the Galaxy Z Fold 4, we found highs and lows that were similar to those of the previous Z Folds. So we're hoping that this time is different. Samsung should change up the formula a little more and really refine its larger foldable as the premium productivity machine that it's meant to be. The rumors so far show promising signs of this actually happening, but some of the key issues with the Z Fold and foldables in general seem like they could stick around. After a couple of years of smaller Z Fold updates, we're hoping to see a bigger one with the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Competition is only heating up with devices like the Oppo Find and already showing alternative ways of making a top-quality folding phone, though only in China. Samsung needs to up its game. If it doesn't, how will the company maintain its lead before its competitors like the rumored iPhone Flip and Google Pixel Fold arrive? In lieu of any leaks telling us otherwise, we're going to assume that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will remain a book-style foldable, with a narrow outer display and a squarish inner display. The Galaxy Fold 4 widened both displays and made them a bit shorter too, which helped them be more usable. And we hope that the Fold 5 keeps this subtle but important change. One of the most notable parts of the Z Fold series design is how thick and heavy the phone has to be to house that large inner display. The Fold 5 may be somewhat lighter thanks to new materials, but it will still most likely weigh more than even the sturdiest regular smartphones. In fact, one rumor claims that the phone could be thicker and heavier than the Fold 4. This would be to allow space for a built-in S Pen though, so it would arguably be worth the extra weight and depth. The screens of the Fold 5 should be a 6.2-inch outer display and a 7.2-inch inner display, both using 120Hz refresh rates and old panels going by previous models. That inner display may change by having a larger, but shallower, crease at least according to Samsung's previous comments. Doing so makes the line through the display less visible overall. A more recent rumor suggests that Samsung could eliminate the crease completely on the Fold 5 with a new water-drop-type display structure. The new structure could work by allowing some portion of the inner screen to roll inside the phone's main body to prevent the display from creasing. Samsung apparently calls this mechanism a dumbbell-type hinge internally, and the company reportedly patented this design back in 2016. Thanks to this new dumbbell hinge design, the durability of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 might improve as well, and it will be able to withstand more folding and opening in its lifetime. We already like the Fold 4's cameras, which have at last brought the foldable up to par with Samsung's other flagship phones by using the same rear sensors on the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus. One leak now suggests that the Fold 5 could upgrade to a 108 megapixels main camera. This could be the same main camera we saw on the S22 Ultra. In addition, the leak mentions the phone could get a 64 megapixels telephoto camera with 2x optical zoom and a 12 megapixels ultrawide shooter. According to the latter, Samsung apparently wanted the Z Fold 4's cameras to be even better than they already were, but was limited by the phone's weight. Perhaps the Z Fold 5 can get some cool new gear like the S22 Ultra's 108 megapixels main camera or 10 megapixels 10x zoom camera. Also, it's time for Samsung to dish the inner under display camera. While it lets you enjoy the display in full, the quality of the picture it produces just isn't good enough for anything outside of video calls. But without any rumors to back up this hope of ours, we assume it's sticking around. The safest bet for the Galaxy Z Fold 5's chipset is that it will be a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or better. That said, there may be a plus or similarly enhanced version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 that the Fold 5 would use instead. We're likely to see some new One UI updates specifically designed for the Fold 5's inner display just like how Samsung added a taskbar to the Fold 4's interface. Samsung's also said it hopes to make software that's adapted better for the 4 to 3 inner display, which we really hope is true. Most apps are still designed for use on rectangular displays, particularly when gaming on the Z Fold, which makes it hard to get the most out of the big inner folding screen. Samsung also needs to improve battery life and charging for the Fold 5. It's unlikely that the Fold 5 will be able to outperform regular phones on battery efficiency, due to its limited internal space and the fact it's got two displays to run. However, being able to last longer than the 8 hours and 20 minutes of the Galaxy Fold 4 and closer to the 10-hour mark that most normal smartphones achieve is something we're keen to see the Z Fold series match sooner rather than later. So, what are your expectations from upcoming Z Fold 5 from Samsung? Let's us know, know it down in the comment section and check out our channel for more Galaxy news. See you for the next time. Peace out.